Let's talk about Cam Newton because he obviously deserves to be talked about. I find it interesting because earlier you said you're now pretty much off of the camp thing. And I saw Tom Curran write something similarly uh, over the last day or so. And it seems to me that some people who were saying, hey, you know, Cam in 2021 would make some sense are now backing away from that, including you. So what was it like specifically this week that that changed you from saying, well, maybe, you know, he he deserves an opportunity next year to prove himself or whatever the case may be to you saying, I'm totally done with him. This is it. Forget about it. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not totally done with camp for 2021. I'm done with him okay. for the season. Cause okay. All right. Curran said that he's done for next year. Yeah. Me. Okay. I'm, I'm open to it depending on what he gets paid because, you know, I don't think it's been, it hasn't been a total disaster or anything. And I think that, uh, you know, with a whole off season and more indoctrination into the offense in normal, more normal circumstances, then uh, he could be a viable player and obviously brings a lot of intangibles, including leadership. And uh, I don't, you know, there's a value on that. And so I, I'm not completely done with 2021. I am done with this year. I thought he's made very slow incremental progress this year. And so, um, you know, but it were, it, this was week 12. Like, yeah. it, it's been a long time since COVID. He's been on this team for a long time. He just, he couldn't function as a quarterback. Basically, he was Mark Sanchez on the field the other day. Where the team, where the other team, and this is becoming more and more of a factor. We all thought, and I did, I said it, that Cam's legs are going to make a difference for this offense. They're going to open things up. There, it's going to make the passing game better just by his presence. Well, yeah. we're at the point now where his right arm and his decision making in the passing has completely negated that, and it's gone the other way. Like teams are now completely stacking the box; they are daring the Patriots to throw. They cannot. He cannot complete any. He can complete a few simple passes. That's about it. Anything outside the numbers, um, you know, without a large cushion from the other team, uh, he can't complete. It's just, it's they can't function as a passing offense, and I don't see how they can continue to win games without that element. And and I just think that unless Jared Stidham's a complete disaster, then I would take a look at that. Now, I will say, do I think that's going to happen? No, because I think Belichick has painted himself into a corner with this team. <laughs> oh, bless you. Um with uh you know sort of the lack of talent on this team but also with cam's contract yeah. like i think he i think there's some overriding guilt on his part or he knows he completely screwed cam newton on his contract that he, he didn't even give him more money when he had more money which they do right now like this is again this is another reason why i said give cam a boost guarantee his incentives g keep some incentives in where he could go to another level if they do really well but now Belichick's to the point where now he knows, all right, well, I've already screwed Cam on the contract. And everybody on this team knows, you know, now, like what? Now I'm going to bench him? Like, I think if he was paying him $7 million, he could bench him and, mm -hmm. and, and have some standing. I just think he's painting himself into a corner at this point. What confuses me is, you know, I, I watch this team each and every week. And I feel like you and I discussed this last week where there was progression. Like we saw Cam make some throws and we saw this offense move the football at least somewhat with the passing offense. Not all the time, not consistently. I'm not saying Cam has been spectacular, but, you know, we sat down last week and we said he's not really the reason why this team's losing. And, you know, he's playing well enough and he's, you know, he's, he's making some of the throws and McDaniels has figured out what this offense is. And then Sunday happens. And it reminds me of like going back to the San Francisco game when he was just bad. And I don't know whether to just throw him out and say it's over. I feel like, you know, I, I would be going against what I have said for the past 11 weeks. And, you know, he has shown the ability to come back from an ugly game like we saw on Sunday. So, you know, against the Chargers on, on Sunday this weekend, is he going to go back and, and be okay? Not great, but okay. I, I don't know. Th this might be who he is, right? I mean, th the way I look at this is 
if you can get three or four good weeks from Cam and then a clunker, then is that better than going with Stidham and maybe getting, you know, two or three clunkers in a row? Like that that's kind of where I'm at with this. Like there is no perfect, yeah. you know, there is I no mean, perfect answer. Yeah, that's the that's the thing about this. And we you and I don't know. Nobody really has any idea. Right. Um about, you know, the whole X factor is how good is Stidham? Like, is he ready? Like, yeah. maybe he wasn't ready without an offseason, you know, coming into his second year. It's week 12 or 13. Maybe he's doing a lot of great things behind the scenes. None of us has any idea, and I haven't heard uh, anything about that. And, you know, I'm just looking back at sort of my grades for Newton because um, I've been doing this year-long comparison to Brady. And, uh, you know, since San Francisco, I had him for three and a half out of five, the Jets three and a half. Two and a half against Baltimore, two and a half against Houston. Um, this game will be probably a half. Uh, and I was looking at my grades for the for the Houston game, and he actually he was more like 50-50, maybe a little bit more on the minus plays in that game. That's if you don't uh dock him for the batted passes. But I just my thing is like, look, now we know what now we know what Cam Newton is, and now the whole rest of the league knows what Cam Newton is. And now teams are playing the Patriots differently. Uh, their narrow path on offense has gotten even more narrow. And just we know what Cam is. Like, let's take a look at Stidham, like with a real, real prep, a whole week's worth of starters reps. Um, you know, I, I Cam's not going anywhere. Nobody's handing him a starting job after the season, but what he's put on the field. And so, you know, why not look at Stidham without any preseason and things like that? Why not give him a real look right now with games that really mean something? Like, yeah. who knows? Well, maybe I, I with, think maybe it, he pops. 